how you doing? Oui, chérie, I'm Goldie Garneau. Try not to stare. Good choice. Maggie Dyer, at your service. Muy bien. Dino Banyan. I'm your man, Frank Reagan. You and I can do plenty of business together. We're gonna take over this town. Let's take this city. Yo soy Elvira Duarte. Hey, good choice. Stephanie St. Clair. Al Capone, how you doing? I'm your only man. Hey, how you doing?
Angelo, please. You need to cool off. You're worse than Gabriel himself. Fuck Antonio. Are you gonna help or not? I know of a guy, a bull patrolman. His brother's a detective, but he likes to gamble. And he owes some money to a small crew. We take on that debt, then we can squeeze him to find out where the witness is that saw Gabriel do what he did. Thanks, Antonio. It's for Gabriel. Welcome to Chicago. Let's have a look around. Chicago is. is a dangerous place, and in order to survive, you're gonna need to learn how to fight. Fortunately, I know right where you can find one. Let's do this! I'm on it! Let's do this! This precinct belongs to Ronnie O'Neill. He calls himself the boss of the Meatpackers gang. His thugs aren't gonna know what hit them. In Empire of Sin, combat is turn-based. The queue of characters waiting to take their turn is above, and the turn order is decided by a character's initiative step. If enemies are allied with a boss, that boss is also shown under their portrait. The action bar is below. In combat, you can move or choose an action from the action bar. Some actions require a target. It's your turn, so fire a shot. character has two action points, or AP. Generally, each action takes one AP. Extended moves, special weapons, and some abilities take two AP. Bosses have unique abilities with special effects that unlock after you've disposed of a certain number of enemies. You'll see the icon fill up on the action bar with each successful kill the boss makes. Use those abilities strategically when they become available.
Using cover is vital to your survival. Cover is provided by the environment. For half cover represented by a half shield, you can be flanked by the enemy. That's the way it's done. Attacking a racket in a precinct you don't own sets it to the ransacked state. You want to own this racket? Well, you're gonna have to take out the safe house at Depot first. Taking out that building takes the whole precinct. But more on that later. The gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent, and they're looking for work. As your empire grows, you'll gain access to bigger and better hired guns, too. Over this time. Have a take. Their price for working with you. The take is based on a percentage of your total earnings. In general, the better they are, the higher the take. Gangsters range from professional hitmen to shockingly wayward criminals. They have opinions about the people they work with, and their personalities and traits develop over time. Gangsters also have different professions and weapon specialties. Nora here is a mob doctor, and that means she can use sniper rifles. Position her far from her target in combat to make the most of her skills. You'll find gangsters looking for work out in the world and in the Black Book. As you become more powerful, you'll gain access to more. Now, hire your second crew member. I'm ready. Now you've got yourself a squad. Just in time, too. It just so happens Ronnie's got a brewery close by. Let's take it out. Zoom out to the world map to see where it is. 
From the world map, you can see who owns what. Right now, this is Ronnie's precinct. Each precinct is controlled by a safe house or depot. Taking out other rackets in the precinct means that you'll cut down the number of reinforcements that show up when you attack the safe house or depot. So, it's a good idea to hit them first. Let's do this. Huh? Need something. Need Kill something. This <laughs> the meat packers were expecting you. Hopefully, they've also expected their funerals. Let's take them out. You're gonna need more than a few guns to take out Ronnie and his guards. Luckily, the Black Market's got everything you need. Open the Black Market by selecting the shop icon at the top of the screen. It's time to get yourself some provisions. If you've got the cash, you can pay to get a better weapon here, or wait for one to drop in the loot after a fight. Check the stats and effects of any item in the shop in the right window pane. If you want a recommendation, you can't go wrong with a first aid kit. Leave the shop when you have what you need.
Now, take out Ronnie's brewery to let him know who's boss. Let's do this. You need to move into cover. Breweries are well guarded, and this is a tough fight.
That's amazing! supplies alcohol to Ronnie's rackets. Looks like he's going dry. Angelo Jenna. Who the fuck do you think you are? Those rackets were mine. You disgust me. When you decide that you want to talk about this like men, you know where to find me. You picked up a new weapon in the loot from that brewery fight. And not a moment too soon. Open your gangster sheet. Here you'll see our active characters loadout. This is all of the equipment that they currently have equipped. Select a weapon slot to open up your faction inventory. Here, you can see all of the weapons that your faction has available, and which weapons your character can equip. Note, each profession is limited to certain weapon types. Select a new weapon from the faction inventory if you want to equip it to your active character. After a fight, you can use your doctor to heal up. Select your doctor, then interact with the character you want to heal. From the radial menu, choose Heal. You can do the same thing with health kits. Sit downs with another boss is serious business. They usually take place in a boss's racket. But they can take place in safe houses, too. Zoom out to the world map to find Ronnie's safe house. What is it? 